The following is a fourth hand production. Jeffrey Dahmer soaked in blood. The Unabomber blowing up. Waco, Texas, and Heaven's Gates. Alien modified men from apes. Hitler faked his death and then escaped. Bigfoot and the Mothman. Son of Sam talking to dogs again. Witches, ghosts, and goblins. Mysterious noise and hot dings. Dark guards and the skull and bones. Most celebrities are probably cloned. So when you're feeling all alone, grab a beer and get stoned. I welcome you to the podcast, Strange Brew. We're here to entertain you. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> welcome to the strange brew podcast hello there that's super creepy Bob. i am your host tom gary tom thompson and i'm billing okay. <laughs> i uh, went japanese with it <laughs> hi thank you thank you very tom much. and billy coming at you live again coming at, we're not live but we're sure. alive Shh, <laughs> they don't know <laughs> she don't know okay enough <laughs> of that bullshit all right uh i'm drinking on the actually we're still drinking on the alberta fucking what is it called alberta spring uh, ouch alberta let me, premium rye let me take a did shot. you just pardon me can we just Tom just cheers the mic. If you've been part of our podcast for at all, he gets very angry when I do that. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, that he took shot my hit. thing. That shot hit wrong. Ugh. Does a shot ever hit right? Really? Uh, uh, fucking Domino's pizza, man. Oh I'm on my! My eyes are watering. <laughs> no. Well, he's just looking at me. He's like, "My God, Billy's so pretty. He's such a pretty oh, man, boy." My eyes water from that. <laughs> Fuck that. We got lots of snacks today. We got chips. We got chocolate. We got everything. My girlfriend. We got a straight up period When I leave the house, my girlfriend's like, I bought you snacks so you don't get too fucked up. And she knows that Billy likes a snack. Anytime we have chocolate in the house or anything, chips, Billy will eat the entire bag (laughs) at the end of the podcast. It's good. We'll sit there. I'm like, oh, we should freestyle or we should do this. And Billy will be like, oh, I just want my chips. (laughs) Yeah, I just want my chips. What are we talking about today, Tom? Oh, fuck. We're drinking on whiskey. We have nothing on the television right now. It's fucking pointless. You know what? That's probably for the best. Let's just leave nothing well, on Well, we have got out of that routine. You know what? Let, how about we put on Family Guy? I don't watch Family Guy in, in the, the back. How about you just shut up? It's on mute anyway. So how is the quarantine going, people? Is uh, it going good? You guys are you toilet out of paper? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> Uh, are you out of um, canned goods? Yeah. You know what? That's the thing, too. Like, everybody was buying, like, canned food. Like, they were going to be in there for fucking years. You, but I'm like, honestly, I'm like, the power isn't fucking going out, you, know you what's idiots. Funny. You can stack you your deep freezers. Yeah, you, you can buy steaks. You can buy good fucking food. We still food. have water. We still have electricity. All these motherfuckers are stacking up on the shit, but... Like, we're not going to have hey, fucking get this. power. Do you have your vitamins? Nobody stockpiled on vitamins at all. Uh, maybe some people they do. Didn't. Dude, vitamins take forever to go through. You buy one bottle of vitamins, it's good for like forty days. No, I eat, I take vitamins every day, and oh, when I pee, you're one of those people. My piss is fluorescent green. I'm almost two years away from being thirty. So. Pardon me. Wait uh, a minute. Your piss is what color? Fluorescent yellow. You said green. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm, the, I'm like that is not right. I'm the Toxic Avenger, <laughs> even though Billy wouldn't know what that is. Do you know what the Toxic Avenger is? The Avenger that's toxic. Oh, you're sad. You're sad. Am I not right? Well, yes, but yes. it was, uh, it was a movie it done by Trauma Studio. I think, yeah, Trauma. Tra- trauma. Trauma. Yeah, Trauma Studios is fucking great. So we're going to get into some alien shit again. Oh, it's alien time. And while I do love getting into alien stuff. It's fun. It's weird. I'm like, I'm on it's board, weird. but I'm off board. Like, I'm kind of, I'm I'm like, I'm just. When a, the fuck have you ever been <laughs> off board? I'm getting old now, okay? So I'm starting to realize. Sh- but oh, <laughs> that's a whole new conversation. <laughs> Let's open that door. I Tom, still what, believe what in. What don't you believe in anymore that you used to? I'd like to open that, that gate. 
I'm starting to question things more often than I used to. What, like I what? used to I stare at the sky and have cigarettes drunk and listen to music while I like, get ready to write music and stuff like that. Okay. And I used to look at the stars and anything I saw that was moving in the sky, UFO. I would think it's a UFO. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm like, okay, that's a plane. <laughs> Maybe that's... But I hate when people are like, it could be a satellite. And it's like, is a satellite moving at the rapid speed that some of these things I've seen? No, you know, satellites are, like, are very slow. slow. Or, yeah, and what they're like, you can see a blinking light from a satellite. Fucking how many, like, like, can you you even see satellites? That's what people's excuses are. Well, that's people, oh, did you see a satellite reflect from the sun and that's what you think is a UFO? Maybe, maybe. That's a little far fetched. This Family Guy episode is a fucking Christmas episode. Yeah, whatever. We're watching the the Raggedy (laughs) Ann and Andy Christmas episode. You know every episode. That is not even close to what the episode was. I was just saw. I just saw uh, uh, a girl that, that was what's dressed. His name? I can just tell. That's uh. Come on, you know it. Uh, what's his name? Julian. Uh, dirty dancing. <laughs> what's his name? Patrick fucking Swayze. You nailed it. You nailed it. That's yeah, exactly. Okay, you're that stupidly one. watching. Family Patrick guy. Swayze. What are you doing here? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oh, so, like, we're going to get into a bunch of different alien races down the road and everything, and it's just fun to, like, touch upon, and I am a big believer in aliens, and anything can be, like, anything in some other dimension, planet, universe, can be something different than us, but also can be human. Can I ask for 10 seconds of silence for Tom's progression? I want 10 seconds. 10 seconds to appreciate Tom not looking at the stars and going, UFO! Just 10... Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Thank you for your, your cooperation. <laughs> Who the fuck counts up? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Losers. <laughs> All right, Tom, let's get into our The Manted Mantis aliens. They're like prey mantis aliens, essentially. They're called the Overseers. Ew, those yeah. are fucking. I can in, they instantly their, envision yeah. those. Those oh, sound yeah. disgusting. We'll have pictures. The mantis aliens are perhaps the most mysterious and unsettling of all extraterrestrial creatures. <laughs> Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. These beings appear within many abduction scenarios. With abductees, <laughs> <That's a good laughs> with abductees reporting the ominous presence of these entities looming over their beds as they wake up in the dead of night. That's a lot of alien shit. Like, we're going to dive into other stuff, but there's many stories of, like, people waking up and seeing the greys, like, at the foot of their bed, like, the short greys. And I probably... Just the mini ones. I probably said this before on one of the podcasts, but there was a story of a lady that, like, uh, woke up and then just, like, goes to get, like, a drink of water. And then, like, there's a bunch of little grey aliens, like, looking through a bookshelf, like, what is she reading? Is this Dave (laughs) Ike's book? And then they're, like, throwing them all around. Fuck this turkey (laughs) Thanksgiving cookbook. But I don't think, like, I don't think the greys understand the the mantid, the mantid, like, creatures and mantis. It's either mantids or mantis. There's different ways to say them. Um... Like hentai, funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, no, I'm not saying like hentai. Like mantai is could be a plural yeah, of it. Maybe uh, I what's, wasn't what's trying the plural to be of funny. A prey mantis, prey Man- mantai. It, it could be. Alexa. Man- it, mantis is. It's not fucking hooked up <laughs> to the goddamn internet. Stop talking to my Alexa. I don't understand your question. As soon as I said stop talking, <laughs> it like shut right down. Yeah, that's fucking Elon Musk listening to you. He's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Or Jeff Bezos. Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. <laughs> it's like, I wonder if these guys know how to build my rocket ship. <laughs> Are they going to Mars yet? When is that happening? Yeah, I kind of want to go. I, I, I haven't don't. heard. I haven't heard about anything. In one of my while. songs, I literally say, I'll be the last person to go to Mars. Well, I kind of be the first. I don't have too much going on for me here. So, uh, You have a podcast. That you were doing. I don't have too much going on for me. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Yeah, because you're on quarantine. We didn't even talk about it's it last week. Quarantine. You're on quarantine. We did talk about it last week. Did we say no? Did we say I don't think we said that I'm you're, not personally on quarantine. No, but you you are still, but you're you're a bartender, so Yeah, like, so I'm out of work, but Yeah, but well, you're not still really. catching I, hours I, I, and shit. Yeah, I get a few a hours doing doing takeout and delivery. Ooh. Yeah. I want any bartender in the world to be like, yay, minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fuck that! Yeah. That's not why I do that job. Yeah. Better than unemployment, I guess. Yeah, but, but you got supervisor me. roles, or you're helping a out. A few more bucks, I guess. But yeah. fuck sakes, 
He looks a little crazy eyed when he says that. I know, that. I get fucking angry. I want people to come in and drink. Just let me, it should be, just let me serve who I want to serve. It's a $25,000 fine if you serve anybody in a restaurant what? now. Eh? Yeah, if you let a customer come in and sit down and That's eat crazy. food, there is $25,000. You can't let them order a well, drink. Well, you let them sit down and eat pussy. I think that's a whole new law. <laughs> I think that's that's straight up like different. Just sit down. There's a like girl's legs wide open and shit, and he's like, "I thought you said no more doing that <laughs> okay. on the podcast." I can do it. You oh, can't I can't go. <laughs> no, that sounds worse than what I did. <laughs> Okay, while the mantis beings is not widely reported, like reported as much as the gray or Nordic aliens here. Okay, you've been on this podcast for how long? Do you know what Nordic aliens are? Yes. Tell me. The aliens. The Nordic aliens are the the long skinny ones. Nope. Yes, they are. Blonde hair, blue eyed, like Palladians. That's what. Long hair, blue eyes, long and skinny. Isn't that not what you that, that was the biggest thing? All that skinny. was the one you always looked at me and you went, You're that I one. I said you're a gray. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I got it mixed <laughs> up with Grace. Yeah, <laughs> gray okay. Grays, bug eyed fucking. The that's tall, I got I got the, the mixed up with Grace. Okay, I got the mixed you know, up with Grace. Bug eyed tall creature. And then you got the Palladians or the Nordic aliens, which are sexy, blonde, blue eyes. Oh, that is me. Women though. and men. That you're me. you have shit eyes. I got green. They're green. Your eyes are pure brown. Like they're they're brown or they're hazel. I'm I looking at your you eyes look right at... now. Okay, I'm looking at your eyes right now. All right, they're pure brown. I'm no, telling they're you, hazel. They're no. green. <laughs> so brown, bro. Bro, nah. they're brown as fuck. I don't want to be poo brown eyes. <laughs> Mine are hazel. Fuck off, and you're gonna spill your drink. Oh, weird. It still holds an important role within many extraterrestrial uh, contact scenarios, even though they're not as widely reported as the Greys or the Nordics. Some researchers have considered the mantis are possibly an example of an early form of intelligent life from planet Earth itself. But this is only one theory of the origin of these creatures. That that's not even a theory of origin. You just like said they're, said they're from they some sort from of planet. Earth. No, I said they could be oh, from I Earth. Oh, th- I thought you said Did some you sort. You fucking of- listen to what Apparently I said. Apparently not. Apparently that's not what you made it Jesus. sound like. It sounds made up. Mythology. Okay, the mythology. <laughs> the insect beings appear in uh, within mythology throughout the world, including the Native Americans, the Co- Cassian tribe. Kosian tribe, Kasian, Kasani, Kason, Kasan, Kasani, Kasan, the Kasan, Kasan tribe of Africa. That's the best guess. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> specifically, regard the mantids as being the first living creatures upon Earth who granted life to animals and humans. What and they were God. Essentially, they granted their lives. They said, "Here you go, frog." Who granted life live. to animals and humans? They either genetically modified them to become what they are. So these from, are this is God in a sense. This to, could be the Bible. Two Africans, <laughs> yes, some Africans. Uh, it, it, they actually invented language and bringing fire to the people. Fire, fire, like Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> fire. <laughs> Yeah. It said what? That, no, just wait. It said that the man just created the moon as a god of hunters by throwing a gallbladder into the sky. I just threw a gallbladder into the sky, bud, and now it's a moon. That's literally what Ew. Africans believe <laughs> that. Fucking you. Yeah. African, okay, How tribal hard? Africans also believe in crazy shit, I want to see your muscles. I want to see the muscles of a, of a guy that could throw a gallbladder that high. <laughs> I want to see. Is that Zeus? No, it's is that Channing what Zeus Tatum. is? It's got to be Channing Tatum like times like seventy thousand. No, it's uh, to throw no, a gallbladder he... <laughs> into get... a, into the atmosphere. I do not get. And when I was researching reading this, I was like, a gallbladder? <laughs> Why is that the moon? Why is it... It... It's a vital organ. And the gallbladder is is it is it is not circular. I kind of. And it reflects off the sun. Okay. Kind of circular if you just take up a little piece All right. there. It's close. I love alien shit, but some of the shit I'm like, man, I believe in the like logistical shit where it's like, yeah, aliens may create us from a, a fucking uh, ape or a monkey or whatever, or even like by uh, those biological little fucking creatures and then evolve their species kind of shit. Yeah. But to throw a gallbladder into the sky, okay. Uh, this is really weird. It's like, I threw a penis into the sky <laughs> and it created the Milky Way. 
way. Like, <laughs> ew. <laughs> How horny was that dick? I know. Uh, I threw Harvey Weinstein's dick <laughs> into the fucking ass. I know. Everybody's been raped. Insects, and, insects embody a quality of otherness in their demeanor and their appearance, right? Like, if you think about it, like, in this lack of malmillion tra- uh, ad- attributes, right? Yeah. Like, it tends to um, either alienate or upset, uh, upset human beings. Okay. Uh, leading to death of many earth insects. Because it's like, ew, that's a spider. <laughs> Gross. And even that's the arachnid, I guess is to say. But, like, say a fucking ant or a fucking prey mantis or... A, yeah, a, you're going to stomp all you, of those. Yeah, sure. and it's just like... We don't see it the way maybe they see it. The thing is, we find them ugly, but say, okay, just like monkeys or whatever, right? You know, if, if we evolved from them or if we had our DNA genetically modified by them kind okay. of thing, right? That we see each other as a certain – we're attracted to each other because I think either – we're obviously programmed is, to since is birth. Is Tom saying he wants to fuck some monkeys? No, is that's that not what, what I'm saying. That? I'm is saying no. That? I'm saying that humans are attracted to other humans because we oh. are humans. You fucking idiot. Tom that, said he wants to fuck monkeys. That's not what I meant. You <laughs> fucking idiot. Um, but the thing is, like, if you saw, uh, you know, a tall, lengthy bug woman that had mm, mine. Dibs. Okay. <laughs> you had the him. contribution to like kind of a feminine body, uh, but it was bug like with a hard like what's that shit called exoskeleton and shit that they have on them. Like yeah. it would be creepy as fuck. And to, yeah, me woman form the thing for is, sure. If 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 I knew that they were alien beings and they were intelligent and I could talk to them and understand them, okay, I would give them the benefit of the doubt and be like, well, like, yeah, you're like, you creep me out, but can you like talk me through it so I understand why you're here? Like, instead of like, if somebody shows up in my bedroom and it's a pretty mantis looking thing and I'm like, but I don't think they oh, would talk fuck. you through it. It's they use uh, a lot of aliens, right? We know you use telepathy, telepathy and shit, right? Yeah. And so. Like, I was trying to think of that word, and I was like, <laughs> telepathic-y? Well, the <laughs> man- while mantids uh, is easily uh, its most human-like anthropod, they exist in a deeply rooted fear of otherness that is generated when a person encounters such a creature because it doesn't look human. You're as tall Which as a human. Which is creepy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, it would be creepy, right? Even greys, they probably have scream. proportions. I would scream. If I saw I would a scream bug, for sure. bug that was the tallest me, went, like how like yeah, they talk fucking and a, shit. I would instantly grab the closest weapon I have yeah. and start swinging. Could this human reaction explain the other common experiences of paralysis that mantid beings induce when contacting earthlings? And it's the same way that almost like the greys do, like, don't panic, and then they put us in a sleep paralysis. Like I have had, if you listen to the uh, Shadow People episode, which I do believe was some sort of alien contact. I do believe I've had... Could have been. Some sort of, even if it is other, not even alien, like other dimensional beings kind of thing. Where I have had sleep paralysis, something shocked me in a state where I couldn't move, where they're like, they, who knows? uh, If you go back and listen to the Shadow People episode, who knows? Maybe those beings that were looking down at me and everything like that, that I was so scared shitless of. I'm saying this as like a broad point of view. What if they were good and they were trying to help me, but I was so scared because I was in that emotional state after coming back from Cuba. What would they be helping you with? Though? Calming me down and making my thoughts different. Me like Mike. Oh, that's okay. a good way to calm. I, you. Well, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying, but they, <laughs> it's, it's the same way that <laughs> <Hey>, like, <Tom. laughs> uh, well, Grays will do that. Different aliens will do that. Will like put you in paralysis and make you like either stand still or, or like you'll be yeah. in fear and stiffness and won't be able to move. Maybe they're like trying to be like they don't understand our reaction so they feel vibrationally our reaction and then they just the only thing is to be like hey we know we can do one thing we can fucking freeze them in time freeze yeah sorry i didn't mean to do it scary i didn't mean to do it (laughs) no and that happens a lot in gray alien scenarios like I think the grays are, could be the half are bad, half are good, like every yeah, fucking yeah, thing yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. shit. We've but, talked about this a lot. But who fucking knows? The poli- the possibility of paralysis as a precautionary measure against the overwhelming uh, and human urge to destroy the other cannot be discounted. Some believe these extraterrestrials come from the Draco system, working hand in hand with the reptilians. We know where Draco is, bud. Draco system. Fucking Draco. By the time, <laughs> by far, the most striking aspect of the mantid aliens is the physical kinship with a praying mantis. Uh, 
They're carnivorous. Still the creepiest. Creepy, yes. Fucking yeah. form you could sorry. take. Sorry. If you that guys is are by listening, far sorry. the creepiest thing you could have picked. I would have rather a big ant, honestly, I think. I'd well, rather Nan. You only want that because you have seen I would Honey, re- I Shrunk the Kids. They ride on a big <laughs> ant's back. And it yeah, seems nice. Yeah, it and they feed him weird nice. little things. It does seem nice. Yeah. But granted, like, I would rather an ant or any. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like insects. No, not, I don't, no, not spiders. Especially arachnids. Fucking, I don't like. Uh, I don't like. Arachnids, yeah, yeah, I don't like spiders. Species. I don't like like anything with more than four legs. I'm not a big fan. But like, if I were to say the worst of the worst, I'm gonna say praying yeah. mantis is probably Back the, in the day worst when form I used you could pick. Cruise around for porn on cable television when Back I was. Back in the day, when I was young, No, when I was a young child. Well, no, I went before cell phones. <laughs> oh, and when I had to I was actually like Pornhub.com. no, before I when I had to look for like specific channels that were on like. To what do you mean? It's always just it was always showcase and it was showcase always is fucking one. showcase was um, on like yeah. after eleven and I remember p.m. It was one always movie, naked. There was like boobies in it and stuff like that, like a, a priestess on this like you know this you know it was kind of sexy. Yeah. They're in this like uh you know cave thing and she's like the priestess and she's like the queen and then it cut to like this guy with a massive bug on his face and that shit stuck with me forever. And I don't even remember what movie this is. It's like a fucking sixties movie and this massive like beast is on top of his face probably the size of his face attacking him and i'm like scared the living shit out of me like i was like fucking just 11 oh 10 God. big ass creature on your face yeah that would fucking trip me out a little bit uh but they're like the pre- uh they're prairie mantis that's what they're like they have kin physical kinship to but they're carnivorous so they fucking eat other insects mammals who knows um and they're they're bipedal insects of its namesake, so you know what bipedal means, right? Didn't half, we talk about? Yeah, we talked about this. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. can stand, right? I thought this meant like, yeah. What what did we argue about that last time? Didn't that mean like bisexual? Yeah, that's what you were about. <laughs> yeah. Many report these beings as six to seven feet tall, so they're tall fuckers. Like, and even I could picture that. I could be a bipedal human. Many reports these beings as six to seven feet tall with long, (laughs) thin torsos. That's kind of creepy. It is like you. Stop! (laughs) Their necks, arms, and hands have additional joints. So they're like, you know. Ew, ew, additional joints. Ew, that sounds fucking nasty. Their heads are insect-like and triangular with large uh, slated eyes with deep, uh, they're either deep brown. Brown or black. Most mantids are described as dark brown, but have other colors such as green and black. Uh, some people have also encountered the uh, black, dark, fucking green kind of shit like that. Their bodies are composed of segmented exoskeletons, and some abductee reports have said the mantids seem to be coated in an oily substance. They like lube themselves up. Like they just they came go from on. an orgy. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe. They dip themselves in some KY, I was going to say, let's go KY slip and slide. <laughs> oh, yeah. We talked about it. We're still doing that? KY slip and slide? Blue Mountain? Fucking full sheets of fucking saran wrap? Did we, t- oh, we did talk about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, fuck, man. Mantids are often encounter wearing long robes in various colors. Specifically, uh, perhaps it signifies their rank. While some are unclothed. On this, that's interesting. That's like the reptilians, right? Kind of shit. Like I could see that in the reptilian races and stuff like that. Is like they're clothed or unclothed. Like people, maybe purple signifies royalty and shit. Yeah. Like it does on yeah, this yeah. planet. Like the reptilians probably do. But like how the the Drake of reptilians. If you have no tail, you're a worker, soldier, somewhat you're kind a white of thing. Color. Um, and then when you have a, if you have your full length tail, you're royalty. So maybe with these homos, they're like fucking, oh, I don't know why I said Wait, what's blue, blue collar, blue, white collar's worker, blue, right? Blue, no, blue and purple is like, I think. A no, it's white royalty. and blue. Whatever the fuck what that the was. Fuck Let's what? carry on that. Well, no, what, what, my colors are mixed up. White collar worker means you, you work hard, right? And blue collar worker means you're a fucking like lawyer or something. Yeah, I'm leaving that in because I think aliens are trying to contact us. They're like, stop fucking talking about us, you <laughs> <Yeah>. cunts. <laughs> we spent many of years. We have Ooh, Can I say that? I love how, like, no fucking reaction to that word on podcasts. What? I said the C word. And I so said it cunt? hard. I said it hard. Cunt. <laughs> Sorry, we, we're... This is not for children. 
That was weird that it like I like legitimately heard the fucking like a uh, frequency change. Yeah. That was weird. That was odd. That honestly, and that never happens unless we're talking about fucking aliens. Although the mantis tend to communicate with human abductees using telepathic method methods messages, like I said, they have been <laughs> We have witnessed engaging one another using auditorial languages. What's that mean? Auditorial? Yeah, auditory languages. What does that mean like not audio? Oh, no. So it must mean like sounds. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Several contactees have described the mantids language as a series of clicking sounds exchanged between the creature. My name is Billy. That's not clicking. I don't know. Wait, hold on. My name is Billy. But you think about the fucking the mouse are super creepy. They're like slapping together. You know how like okay, not like that. It's not clicking. You just Click. said clicking. Yeah, like that maybe. Okay, enough of this. Uh their abilities some experiencers state in the mantis also are shapeshifters, maybe, and used advanced That was super loud. Super you can wait to have a cigarette, can you not? Instead of fucking hauling on that big vape. And yeah, they use advanced it. technologies to create a field around their bodies uh, to make them appear as human. So they could be here right now. Sitting I next could be to one. Me. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. The mantis beings, uh, mantis beings are masters with vibration of sound and color. Like David Icke says, you know, people think he's fucking crazy. But You're a master at color. No, but like the like um, color hues and the like even Beast thirteen thirty three, which I would love to get on this podcast. He like literally has a song where he's like talking about how top secret. He talks about there's colors that we've never even seen, like because yeah, we only yeah, have yeah. We, are, we only yeah. have a spectrum in the visible no, spectrum of ten percent. That's not even right? Beast thirteen thirty three. The government tells yeah. you that when you're in school, yeah. it says there's colors that you can't see. Yeah. Which because is your fucked. eyes can only see so much. So imagine what else is out there is my fucking point, right? Yeah. Um, Shit. I so they see, in I their vibration of sound too. So like like how we use delta or I think it's delta waves to sleep and beta waves to keep us awake. It's the same kind of thing as that. That when I listen, when I used to do drugs and try to sleep, I used to have to put on like venereal beats to get my heart rate lower and shit. Mm-hmm. So they fucking send certain vibrations into your brain to set you in a sleepy state. Yeah. I'd lose my mind listening to that, yeah. trying to go to bed. Uh, they Holy use fuck. this uh, mastery to actually heal and create. They are also artists of universal light, whatever that means. So they like they dance through frequencies and alter their surroundings as they do so. So they're like, so I they dance in the, the vibrations. Yeah. These mantid beings create a bubble-like force field to travel through time and space. Boom! The fucking get in a bubble and they're like gone. Oh, yeah, shit. That's, that's kind of like, sick, that's, though. I want to do that. I really want to do that. In lower dimensions, they actually create a living sphere ship of light. That's what I was going to say about light, is that a lot of um, UFO shit that happens and like real like if you see a silver craft flying around like a flying saucer yeah. probably military made like made by our own be, um, yeah. by humans but if you see ships that vibrate light that that's what I've said when I've said I've looked up in the stars and if you watch certain stars they say they're stars that you can see and go blue red green especially on like telescopes I've never and been that tripped no, I've been sober seeing this <laughs> shit. And I've said this on the podcast that I've seen this. I'm pretty sure I have. But we used to, like, my buddy used to bring out binoculars and we'd be, like, we'd be stoned and shit. And be like, oh, look at the fucking sky. Like, that's fucking weird. Like, do you, like uh, my eyes are, like, decently bad. Like, I, I sh- probably shouldn't need glasses. But we'd be like, oh, like, and he's like, I can see, like, green and red or whatever coming off from that star. So you pull up binoculars. You know, I'm just like, curious. Yeah. And you look and you can see it go from green, yellow, red, blue. That would trip me and out. It's, I've like, never, I've never and seen it's a star quick doing enough that. to not be a star. Stars emit light from millions of miles away, yes. But also, stars don't fucking emit different color waves. Like, that's bullshit, and I don't believe... I think those are ships sitting in front of maybe stars we think have already existed and stay... I've already, I've already explained this. On Go back Can we talk about all the bullshit people that buy stars for their... For their friends and loved yeah, ones. Yeah, my, uh, my cousin Dane that was oh, on the second podcast this ever God, bought a fucking, fucking star idiot. for my poppy and nanny. You that are both fucking dead. idiot. Yeah. You don't buy it. You forge a document and you say, look, 
that's yours. <laughs> I know. In higher dimensions, uh, they can send their light bodies in a single bubble of light across the universe. So above a physical reality, right? Okay. Where you are just a light being, where you just are technically a soul, right? Yeah. Because after the fifth, di- I think it's the fourth, or fi- the the fifth dimension, you don't need a body anymore. You are just a yeah. Being that always a, curious a soul. Me. As soon as it gets to the fifth, sixth, and seventh, it's like you that can't, is like I, I can. I don't know. I can the... slap my forehead right now. I can, I can touch, slap your forehead I can, too. I can touch myself, right? Oh but yeah, you is, can. Uh, yes, <laughs> that when you're a, a being of higher existence of light, you can't touch yourself anymore. You can if you want to. But oh okay. Just you have a sure. higher meaning of everything, and you're like a being of light. You're a, or darkness if you're on a lower dimension kind of shit. That you don't need a physical body. That you can like it's like astral projection. That you can travel certain places within your mind almost. Mm-hmm. Common abductee scenarios. The mantis tend to be the overseers and often appear to be the leadership of certain positions of power during an abduction. Generally, the mantis will, accompanied by several small gray aliens who seem to do their bidding, almost like the reptilians. But they, I'm curious if the, man, uh, the mantis or mantid beings are higher or lower than the, the reptilians. Yeah, I'm actually curious uh-huh. about that. If that is a thing, if this does very much exist, these uh, the small greys are assumed to be drone beings, like we've talked about, controlled by the hive mind, and they're utilized by a variety of alien races. So it's I, like a bee mind, but well, like hive mind, they call it. Yeah, it's well, they, they call it the hive mind because it's significant. Thing. Yeah, it's it's significant. They're all there to please the queen. Yeah, it's some, like a bee. The reptilians are supposed to be the ones that created them. I that made the them a biological entity, but there is theories that the greys were actually like made on their own or made as biological creatures that can fucking reproduce, but they died out. But that's why the greys are so desperate maybe to do their own thing because once you reach a certain uh, level of intelligence, you can actually break outside of that, especially if you their AI technology kind of thing. Okay. They were like, they can break out, like say the reptilians created them and they're like robots. And then one's like, well, why are we doing this? And then they change their thought process. And then they're like, there are some greys that break broken away from like the whole reptilian shit and they kind of do their own thing so they're trying to do the hybrid program to actually have like mate with humans or do genetically modified so they can procreate because a lot of greys say they have no dicks and all that shit kind of thing right so they're gen- they're just robots but they gotta they gotta be a way to procreate yes. outside of just the just genetically just the, making the, the penile and vaginal fucking well no and that's why well, there's, there's gotta they, be other ways to mate made once them, you get to that level they made them in a lab right they made them in um the, the but how else there's gotta be another way to mate there has to be through their nose yeah like they, like what don't they know. don't they piss through their finger and shit so that's scary, scary movie scary. three okay <laughs> Yeah, so the mantids are commonly involved in abductions that can include both medical procedures and instances of interrogation. What did you tell President Trump about our existence? Wouldn't they already know? Did you know that Trudeau is one of us? Oh shit, did I just say that? <laughs> the perce- we made him do blackface. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just laughed right in the mic. The perceived motivation of the mantids is in regard to human abduction. Uh, there's somewhat a mystery around what they're doing in the human abduction cases. Uh, okay. Some contactees describe these creatures as positive, uplifting beings who seek to protect humanity and the earth. I feel like we've gone over this a few times before. Yeah. One co- I've never talked about like, mantids. One common thread found among many... Ab- well, we talked about abduction scenarios, which are generally the same. I guess same. these are just the ones that... It, yeah. there's, like, there's two groups, I guess, and we've talked there's, about plenty of people that want to be saviors to the earth. Hundreds these are, these of are one groups, of them. if not thousands. I I noticed that I'm talking about two groups as the evil and good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. like, saying, like, yeah, I guess all the good ones are just being, like, we want to protect the humans. We, they don't know. They don't know well, what's going on. Well, it's almost like they, yeah, they don't, yeah, that they're, like, they don't fucking know. Why, why are you fucking with them, man? <laughs> they don't know. They're fucking stupid. What do you think? Why what? are you even talking to them? <laughs> fucking look at Jim over there fucking talking to the human fucking idiot. Look at this fuck <laughs> mowing his grass. <laughs> um, I'm getting drunk. Uh, just joking. I'm fine. He's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Take your shot, you pussy. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I've been reading my shit so Tom's much. I've been such a bitch. Shot. Strange brew. 
We haven't been cracking beers, so we got a strange <sighs> brew on yeah. shot. See, it's easier after like the seventh one. Yeah, it's not bad after that point, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Abductees often report the man is being showing them holographic images of the destruction of planet Earth. Jesus, that's bad. To illustrate. As, as to what? It, no, like they're showing them holographic images when they get abducted. They're, as soon as Fuck I said that, that yo. they're like, stop fucking talking. Kay. We're going to kill know you. Got, I um, really hope I, this yeah. transmits to yeah. the, does this transmit I to think the it, mic? I think it will be on the mic. We'll find out after. I'll leave this in, actually. Um, the, the mic just fucked up again. It didn't even fuck up. I just went again when I literally said a holographic image of the planet being destructed. That, that no, it did do that. <laughs> but that, that is very weird. Like as soon as I said that, but like when they abduct them, they're like, "This is what's going to happen." To people are planet. listening. People are listening. Yeah, it's it seems like it. I, I think people cr- are listening. I'm getting screwed. <laughs> are you a little scared? Uh, to uh, to. Stop, stop, stop. I'm a little scared. Stop doing that. Man. I didn't do that. That sound. That sound yeah. was not me. That honestly, the mics have never done this before. We'll go through a ton. Why is he doing so frequently now? Uh, like it's like you need to get the fuck off the subject. Keep right, talking. Well, whatever. Keep reading. To Keep the, reading. <laughs> to get illustrate off that paragraph. To illustrate the possible negative impact that our species could have on the planet. So they're saying, guess what? This is what you're going to do. And then they show him a holographic image of the fucking planet exploding. Uh, okay, so it's already showing here in a light in a light retrospect of that. On the flip side, it's saying. To speak to current events, yeah. it's speaking to the coronavirus. It's saying, "Look what your species has done. Yeah. Go inside. Don't fucking do anything." It's like, "Oh my yeah. god, dolphins are returning to I Venice." Think if I was high, oh my god, I got high. all these fucking yeah. animals are returning. Yeah, They're going, "Oh my god, the we're back. We're good. We're but, good. Uh, we're good." I usually, I usually do have a good feeling when it comes to this shit. Like I feel weird. Like I always say the how I explain my feeling of what I when I feel sh- certain shit. And it's like the egg cracking it. Like when you have someone like pretend to crack an egg over your head and you feel those tingles in your like. Oh, I haven't felt that in a long time. In your brain back down to your neck. I feel it all the time. Songs, when I resonate with the song deeply, it makes me feel that way. Uh, When I have, yeah, when the the sensation of tingling inside your skull and through your spine and shit. And Uh, then you you don't give a fuck. Other reports have increased in the psychic abilities post-abduction. Many experiencers claim that the mantids have seemed to uh, the process of uncanny ability to uh, put the abductees at ease offering telepathic words of comfort that eliminate the fear of the encounter like you're okay, it's okay. i'm here with oh, you oh dude i'm so good at that wait a minute hold, hold, my on. Hand. hold on listen i want you to picture me stroking your hair right now just hold on listen it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay everything's okay it's okay, okay. i'm okay. over this Tom, you're like, oh my god. Tom, like, literally had to grab his dick because it was getting hard. He's like, he had to push it aside. He'd be like, fuck, Billy, stop. Human DNA harvesting. <laughs> However, some return from this experience with the mantids with a darker point of view, saying the mantids wish to conquer and control humans Fucking and mantids. Earth rather than aid the human and uh, ascension, which we want to go towards, is the ascension yeah. uh, towards, like, new life. Towards the and, new well, life. not even like towards like a new existence, like higher consciousness. So with all like, there's all the things about maybe the ascension for humans and stuff like that, and maybe that's the process of it. Some believe that the Mantid hybrid uh, hybrid hybridization program is currently taking place, just the same as it. They're almost like the reptilians, but maybe the overseer of the reptilians. Like it seems a little weird, and they're using human DNA to create a new species, just like the hybrid program, right? Creating a uh, grays to become like humans. You know what I mean? So they're so integrated with society that we can't tell the difference, like if they're human. Or if they're not. Touch my pizza. Oh, no, I thought you were reading. I don't want your pizza. <laughs> it's not even mine. It's your pizza. <laughs> Some abductee reports uh, present the of the tall blacks. Oh, the blacks? Yeah, it sounds bad. Some abductees present the tall blacks, a creature through hybridiza- hybridization. That's fucking sure. it. Experiencers describe these yeah. experiencers uh, describe these uh, beings as being incredibly tall and more humanoid than insect. That's kind of weird. So how? 
insect and tall they have to be, but they have Praying black skin. Praying mantis is a good, a good mix. About this, they, they have black skin and extremely long limbs and extra joints on their appendages. So, like ants. No. So they look more human than the manta beings normally would. So think about someone say you, okay? Okay. Uh, if you ever seen Billy, or you know what you look like at all. Or I'm sure you have creep my Facebook page. Um, I'm hot as hell. Of course you look at me. Give me a shot. Everybody I looks like at my Facebook page. <laughs> Imagine you, but your skin seems to be black, okay? Uh, but you have you have some sort of. Um, like alien complexion and like torso, <laughs> which is not not any different. But your but your limbs on. are extremely long, so it looks like you. But your There's eyes no are no difference. No, but like you just I, explained okay. me. Yeah, I did explain you. But Except you're not black. I'm white. Yeah, yeah. that's but the only you difference. You do have long limbs. Your legs My are extremities long, your are, are fucked. Long. Yeah. We're gonna put yeah. a post to the Stranger <laughs> Podcast like page right after this. This is why you're eating your pizza on the podcast, really. <laughs> Can't stop doing that. So, like, and that, that this is what tripped me out of my stone brain now that I finally got stone. It's like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, how long and your, like, your extremities have to be? Like, you're already tall and lengthy. Imagine being, like, 10 foot tall, but your arms are maybe the size of a 12 foot tall person. Please stay tuned. I always say scenarios. Scenarios are very similar to those involving the mantid aliens and seem to uh, involve around medical experiments. Uh, so the most chilling feature of the tall blacks encountered by many abductees are their glowing red eyes. So even that, they're tall, they're lengthy. What, just watch me get stoned? <laughs> watch what happens. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Get Billy stoned under yeah. this tree and watch this I red very eye agree because. I got like, high a couple did. times, you and it did. ruined my episodes yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that like that's something that you, there are some people that just can't handle. I it. can't anymore. It's weird too because I used to be such a big stoner. Yeah, I was the kid in high school where as soon as like you know that kid in high school where the teachers look at him and like. In other uh, interactions with the Zetas, the Zeta Reticulas, which is the Greys, oh, many we know those. people can recall being frozen in place. This is one of don't the, they wipe your memory. Well, so, Didn't oh, you talk about that? Yeah, they do. do so why that. can they recall that? Also, people do. Uh, they do. The Greys do forget. They have. A oh, they, they, oh, I'm sorry. I just forgot to wipe your memory. Shot. Shot. Strange brew. Strange brew. It's always the worst if we're like taking shots of alcohol because it's like Ew, strange brew times how many? Can we can we exclude Tom from this conversation? Uh, this is just me and the listeners. Tom just took like a quarter of a shot and I put it. All right. Because he's a fucking bitch. Please. I just finished it. Also, you All don't right, take shots. It. And how many have I had tonight? He's eating pizza <laughs> on the podcast <laughs> while I'm taking pure shots of whiskey, which he won't take. Because it's garbage whiskey. I don't care. Take if one. We, if we had, I'll take one. Okay. I'll take one. I'll I don't. Take I don't one. fucking like it. I'll take one though. It's one. Okay. Okay. It was fun. One. Let's do it. There you go. One shot right now. Do it. Yes, for sure. I'll take a shot. Okay, okay, right now. To them, no, this is true. To them, it appears like the mantids or greys or any sort of alien that is like freezing us. To them, uh, it must appear that our response is the start of like a runaround, like making loud noises and freaking out and thinking we're doing like they. If you didn't understand the way humans are, or maybe you did to an extent, where you're just watching them, like like apes. Okay, how we watch animals or dogs. Okay, and they're you, watching us like we watch dogs. Yes. So you don't really like you. My get, dog gets into a lot no, of shit that I get, get mad yes, about. You get their behavior, <laughs> yeah. but you don't understand why they do it. I'm pretty pretty sure I know why she does what she does. No, it's like, usually when I piss her off, like I leave her alone for so eight hours. So the end result to uh, not injure ourselves, they actually or others, in order to prevent this, they briefly paralyze us. So instead of to like, f- look, we see this alien and we freak out so much, we run into a bookshelf and smash our heads off. Oh, okay, it. like it, that's actually a very oh, interesting shit. point okay, of view. I got you. So shit. we're like a rabid dog, and yeah. they don't know how to deal with us. It's like. 
fuck, this thing might kill me right now. Yeah, it's gonna charge me because right? it's weird? losing its like mind. Like a rhino or something. Yeah, if you saw if you saw an man. animal that could That's fuck what I'm you saying. up. So at the end of the day, are they scared of us? No, contactees and abductees have been told that humans are only like. Let me. So finish. they're not scared of us. No, yeah. So they are into an extent where they don't want us to panic so much where we're gonna hurt ourselves, but they also don't want to panic so we hurt others or them in the process. But in my perspective, do you think we could hurt them? That's my perspective. If we, I don't if we think wanted we to, could, I don't think we could physically, mentally. If I had my skateboard right there in a and a fucking monster came up and didn't paralyze one, me, I had to whack that shit right uh, over its side one, of its head. One move, they're disappearing. Would they, though? Or would they if freeze? they are far along Would they as, freeze? Yeah, you know, but as far along as what the mantids are supposed to be or the reptilians, maybe the greys. Everyone's got that, that No, that but the, thing, the higher beings that have higher consciousness ability and have been on different planes of reality and a existence. A faster and thinker. No, also that. What if I find the also, retard of also, that Also, they're like super line. fucking heroes where they're like going in and out of different dimensions correspondently. We're okay, like, so what if I find the slowest... Grace. Dumbest no, you want to talk about gray this? No, it's, it's grace. shows up to my it house. It would be grace. That would be the robotic ones. Like, oh, and I hit him over the side of the. Can't show me to come to Billy's no, house. No, no, no. Okay, no, wait. And then okay, you hit no, them with the, the reptilian skateboard. though. The reptilian. Nah. The, the, there's got to be levels of nah. it, right? Though, no, there's got to be the smart ones. Yeah, and there's got to be the not so smart and ones. And if there are dumb, they're still like he's a big dumb brute. Then, but he's there's like, got to there's got to be one that freezes. Conti, uh, con- contees, uh, <laughs> contactees and abductees have been told that humans are the only beings in this universe that show their teeth when they were happy or angry. I don't show my teeth when I'm angry. I don't grunt like that. Well, Dogs when cavemen, grunt like that. Cavemen and... But also, if I'm angry, you're looking at me like this. When I was actually researching this, uh, I said to my girlfriend... If you were a being from another planet that didn't greet in the way of like, when I look at you and, and like, I yeah, you smile. I'm happy. Yeah, Hi, I'm how are so you? Far, you're my best friend, right? Yeah, no, wait, no, coronavirus, oh, elbows, yeah, elbows, elbows, handshake. <laughs> also, to talk about that, if there's a coronavirus, the aliens, uh, the aliens are here, they're watching. They're like, let's see how they go. Um, but uh, that is also been a very interesting point is that. <laughs> As a human being and our facial features and what animals, whatever we were taken from, yeah. smiling is a way of us being happy. Yeah, it's like, If hi. somebody's smiling in general, you know they're happy. When I do this podcast with you, we're both smiling all the time. We're always laughing. That I'm is like, not fucking true. We are both very grunting. And Tom's looking at me, giving me the finger 90% of the time <laughs> and winking at me. Why are you winking at me? Ew. That was a gross <laughs> fucking ew. Okay. The fact Don't that, ever do that again. Uh, the fact that like when we know, like when Billy knows that I'm laughing at what he said or done, <laughs> I'm smiling, right? And same with thing with like, that. Imagine being a different being that didn't understand that. Though. And even that, you know what? Even on that note, I was hanging with a girl I was, I was hanging out with. Yeah. And I came in the room the other day and I, I just wasn't smiling. I was just, you know how you just walk into a room sometimes? You're just face as is yeah. sometimes you don't have to smile she looks at me like she's like oh my god you're pissed i'm like what i'm gonna kill you i'm like no <laughs> she's like oh my god you're not smiling and i'm like okay See? jesus fuck this i'm like weird. i have to walk around with the biggest yeah. smile on my face all it's the time it's apparently to make people confusing think. uh to alien beings yeah because they don't know if they're no. actually fine or not apparently we are known for this trait as humans yeah is that that's how we so Smile. And that's when you're actually happy. So scary. So if I meet a reptilian that actually wants to meet me, it's like, man, I, I, I've I've listened to, to the podcast for many <laughs> years. And I really like what you're doing. I like that you really don't put us down, but you at the same time say we're behind everything. <laughs> we're pretty cool. And like, and then he like smiles really big with this shark teeth fucking smile. And I'm like... I'm running. You'd have to suck it up. You'd <laughs> have to running. smile. No, you have to smile because he no, thinks that. I'm running. No, he thinks that's endearing. Oh, he's running. This is fun. And then he chases yeah. after me. Are we playing? <laughs> like you play with your animals, those canines? 
Supposedly, the mantas have evolved for all these years. Uh, they, this, okay, these are, and we're going to end on something fun, but uh, they also say that maybe they have organs located in their midsection, which are not only a sense like the fear senses. Um, this is actually interesting. Okay, so get this. Their organs are located in their midsection. So near, like, uh, under their, lo- as humans, think about, like, if you're on the podcast, I am literally recording this right now, touching the center of He's under my chest. Dick. Yeah, I'm not touching my dick. Um, so like, reach down, oh, kind of I fucking spill. Please spill my dick. Pop. Oh, pouring whiskey. We have drank. This is not uh, a sixty. If we finished half, more than hey, half. Hey, how 60, about you look at the fucking liters, you idiot? One point seven five liters. Which is how much? I feel way fine. There okay, is okay no do, you, way. do you know what a two six is? Two six is seven hundred and fifty milliliters. Okay. Oh, 40 is 1.14 milliliters. A 60 is 1.75 How do milliliters. I feel like I'm not ready to be the Hulk? Because I've had a lot of this, and you're used to... You're, we actually split this. You haven't noticed, mm. but we actually split it. Usually you take the majority. I good, though. Usually, like, I'm not drunk. Usually you take the majority. <laughs> but, like, that's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, it's a 60, man. One point seven five milliliters. Is a and we drank that much, man. Nuts. Yeah, we. But like, so think about your midsection. So think about your ribs. Um, That's right, not... and then uh, right here, where I'm pointing at, like right underneath the rib section, uh, there they actually have a sense inside that, like an organ almost, that senses fear as dogs or wild animals would. Oh shit! Yeah, isn't that weird? Because look at your dog too. Like, as soon as you said that word, her, her eyes ear, opened and her ears went straight the fuck that's up. Weird. Man, my dog's. Like, can we make Chloe the strange brew but mascot? But also, they can amplify the fear and the radiant uh, back into the uh, or originator. So say the say uh, you wake up and you see a mantid, right? Mm-hmm. They can actually, and you're scared shitless. And then they feel like they're scared. You know what they can do? They mm. can amplify how scared you are back at you. So whatever they feel comparative to you and what you feel against them. Double time towards yeah. you again. And then you're. That's fucking mean. I know. That's a mean thing to do. <gasps> so Why would you do that? Yeah, I know. Why like, would you do that? That's fucking mean. <laughs> This amplified energy is what disables and neurolo- disables the neurological systems and freezes you. Yeah, if you're that scared, for sure. It's man. like deer in headlights, man. Um, deer in headlights. This is how uh, they actually prevent us from hurting ourselves, as they said. Sure. <laughs> and, they prov- and they perform this duty with great love and care for humans. I, there's part of me that's like, okay... If you're out there, sure, and you're listening, whatever, or whatever you are, if you're not listening, I don't know, whatever you are in those beings, reality, I'm not going to judge you based on your appearance, but you, if you have the ability to show love towards me and I can feel it, like literally, then do that, and I will accept you with See, open hearts. See, I've rubbed my balls across your face not so that, many man. times, and you didn't like it. <laughs> I yeah yeah funny, but I'm saying that it's like <laughs> the, me seriously talking about that. that like I know, uh, of course, absolutely. I, anybody like that, like it, if, and if, I'm, if, I'm that type of being you, too. Yeah. You you show love to me, I'm gonna reciprocate. If you it. look like a weird creature, doesn't if, matter. If you show me love, I'll show you love. Of course, no, it's That's weird. How we haven't had the microphone fuck up or that weird transmission shit because we're saying we love you. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> that's good. He talk, hey, kill Kenny. So let's but, hear about uh, actual DMT or mushroom trips where people have supposedly D- seen this DMT or mushroom trips. Yeah. Of. Okay, so like, it, it's games. it's already kind of not credited a little bit. No, don't you think? I, no, I've in, like it's a little not credited. You, you are afraid of mushrooms. No, no, no I'm no, sorry no, no, that no, no, you. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying like they didn't see that. I'm just saying. I saw your spastic hand movement. Like, hey, oh, can you fuck something. off my ADHD and just <laughs> fucking listen to what I'm saying? I, I think you need mushrooms with me. No, I need Ritalin. But no, sure, man, listen. Okay, listen though. Me. Like, if anyone's doing DMT or mushrooms. Automa- no, no. Automatically, even if what they saw is 100% true, yeah. it's discredited. No, no, I agree. That's it's why discredited I, I'm a little bit. I'm not saying this is truth, you dumb bad. Oh, I'm no, no, saying no. that like, this I'm just, is like that's fun all shit. Saying. That's all I'm saying. But I'm saying. Sure, carry on. Can you please get used to doing fucking mushrooms so we can, or, like, let me no. do. No, let no. me. No, you don't know how bad that was. 
I don't give a fuck. I can take you out of that. I'm th- telling you a million times. Okay, Tom, times I want you. I, okay, so. Okay, let's No, here this. we go. No, 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 no. no. no I'm going gonna, to flip this. I'm going to flip this quick. You went to prison for a night. Just hypothetically. You know, no, no, listen, doing hypothetically. This. Tell me no, 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 no. Hypothetically, you went to prison and you got <sighs> raped by seven different dudes. Mm, this is your mushroom trip. And then I came back and I said, mm. dude, prison is awesome. And yes. you said, no, it fucking wasn't. And I'd say, no, dude, it'll be awesome with me. For sure. Maybe I just had a bad trip. But you, you just, have. But your first experience, you got raped. By That's seven terrible, dudes. Though. I know how hard. You have no idea. I understand. Listen, how Jail's hard, fun. How hard would okay, it be? Ask Ricky and Julian how fun jail how is. How hard would it be to overcome that? I've, Pretty fucking hard. I've also told you that I Pretty had a bad hard. trip on mushrooms when I did them with alcohol. I get it. It no, can be bad. No, you don't get mine. Okay. I'm telling you, you don't understand. My first and only DMT trip when I realized that the purpose of life is to make an existence for others just a little bit easier. I would told by this huge blue prey mantis, <laughs> I researched and saw that I had encounters with the mantis beings. So I wondered if these, if you guys had any expedient experience meeting with my pal. When I had taken five <laughs> grams of mushrooms, I remember floating in the void. As I looked into the distance, it seemed like the stars were winking at me. It took more than that. The dots <laughs> eventually connected into an infinite neon grid. I kept staring into the distance, and I noticed some massive army of insects like beings walking on the grid lines. As they approached closer, they looked like sp- Spider mantis hybrids. When they spoke, it sounded like white noise static. Oh my god, you sound like white noise. Stop talking through like that. Through in the mind. It was <laughs> through Fuck in me. my mind. It was being translated. Do not fear. <laughs> they taught me about forgiveness and understanding so my sorry, own flaws. Listeners. They were all suffering, but we can help each other to alleviate some of this pain. Okay, so for I whoever got that. through that <laughs> and actually that. even kind of listened, because like halfway through, I tuned out. <laughs> it's too bad for you. That was great. I it probably that. was good. Maybe Those I'll maybe I'll read it one day. But listening to you talk so like that, <laughs> not a chance. Okay, so everyone's well, that's my boring voice. How about this you? How about you? Fucking strange brew podcast, and I. Hey, love we're not done. All of our listeners, we're not done. Uh, we have something coming up. That What's we coming up? Called the uh, Billy's Fun Fact of the Day. That's it's my boring teacher. It's Billy. Fun fact of the day. It is Billy's fun <laughs> fact of the day. Come on, that has to be kept in a thousand percent. <laughs> okay, right. you get that. Fair game. Okay, here we go. I want okay. this. I want this to end right away with no, with no actual no, recollection no. after. Okay, it's Billy's fun fact of the day. I want you to know. You're gay. No, 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 no. This is gonna end here. We before I say my fun fact because it's gonna end the second after I say my fun fact. This podcast is just gonna end. Thank you for tuning into the Strange Brew. We appreciate you. That's your fun fact. And we're here to entertain you. No, my fun fact's coming up, but I, I don't want any oh. any commentary on All my right, fun fact. All right, fine. www.strangebrewpodcast.com. I'm sorry for my voices. I know you love it. There's, the, there's a reason why these motherfuckers keep tuning in. There's a reason behind it all. But follow us on Strange Brew Podcast, Facebook, Strange Brew Canada. And if you really want to follow us on Twitter, Real Strange Brew. Okay, now here we go. Tom's going to get ready to end this podcast. It's He's going to be right there. It's the still game. Billy's Fun Fact. Okay. And I'm ready. I want you to do your research. Anytime you ever look up anything online, like, it's... There's so many fake websites, man. Like, and it's oh it's everyone's... It, did you know 